Well, good morning and welcome to Noah's Window. Uh, each day, Mary Alice and I read a selection from the One Year Bible. I know we've talked about it in the past. You have a selection from the Old Testament, the New Testament, Psalms, and Proverbs. Well, right now we're at the beginning of the Old and New Testaments and Psalms and Proverbs. And today's reading takes us to one of the most famous selections from the book of Proverbs, probably the most famous selection. It's Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. It's a life verse for so many people, and well, well that it is. But let's just read it together. The Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which way to take or which path to take. Mary Alice, the line that always captures me is that line that says, do not depend on your own understanding. And I really do think this is perhaps the most challenging part of this great promise. Right, and I think it comes back to just a, a fundamental principle, just like you would expect your child to trust your uh, perspective above their own um, when they don't understand, but to trust you that you have their best interest at heart. I, I believe on a much greater scale, God challenges us to do that same thing. I think for me, it would be easier if God just said, Mark, you're wrong on this and you're wrong on that. I, I can I can grasp the fact that I, that some of my positions are wrong, but the Bible is talking about something much larger here. The Bible is saying my entire understanding is not trustworthy. It, it doesn't mean that my understanding is wrong altogether. It's just that that being the authority, uh, it's untrustworthy. And, and what doesn't it say, uh, don't lean on it, don't depend don't lean on, on it. it. Yeah. So that isn't the ultimate uh, deciding factor, that isn't the ultimate foundation you want to build your life on your own uh, understanding, because it really is limited. You know, we yeah. don't know the bigger picture. Yeah, I like your point there, because it doesn't say here you shouldn't have an understanding. It's just that we shouldn't lean on it and trust mm -hmm. it, because everybody's going to trust something. You know, some people trust what they learn in the university. Some people trust what they picked up, you know, in experience. But the Bible tells us here that we are to trust in the Lord with all our heart, not to depend on our own understanding, and then to seek His will in all that we do. That's a that's the test that we are to employ for our actions, right? Right. And and how do we go about that exactly? Well, we, I think we have to want God want what God wants. Uh, sometimes. I've experienced in my life uh, a little bit of a tug of war between myself and God because I, you know, my, it's my human nature to want what I want, and yet the Bible tells us that we're to trust in the Lord with all our heart, not depend on our own understanding, and then want what God wants in all that we do. Now, those are three big commands, but notice the takeaway, the promise. The Bible says He will show you which path to take. Now, to me, that promise is big enough to cause us to want to do these first three things. Mm -hmm. I agree, yes, because He always has our good in mind. He kind of goes back to the Romans 8, 28. Yeah. He's going to work everything for our good. So knowing that He loves us and that He has the best in mind for us, we can trust Him. He will show you which path to take. That's mm -hmm. just such a beautiful thought. Because every day we have questions, we come to decision points, and we don't know whether this direction is the right direction or that direction. What's beautiful to me is God knows what no human being knows. He knows the future. Mm -hmm. And so when God shows us which path to take, He's not just showing us which path is best for us today, but He's showing us the path that will be best for us when we look back you know, 50 years from now. And on a practical level, don't you think as we're seeking God's will, we really need to be seeking it in, in the Scripture? Mm -hmm. and uh, in godly teaching that's true to the scripture and in times of prayer and uh, asking God I'm just thinking in a practical level about how to find his, his will I know I've, you know from time to time people will uh, have different ways of discerning God's will and it's not like a Ouija board or something. well we have some certain I, ways we can do that that's probably the question that we've been asked is more than any other question is how can I know the will of God mm -hmm. and I think the reason why a lot of Christians struggle with how to know the will of God is they want to lean on their own understanding and then still have God show them which way to take. The Bible tells us here that if we trust in the Lord with all our heart and we don't lean on our own understanding and we want what He wants, then He will show us which path to take. It's not something that we're going to have to ask. Um, he'll show us, but we do have to do those first three things. Let me read it one more time for all our benefits today. Uh, the Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, 
and he will show you which path to take. So if someone's watching us on Noah's window, and I know Mary Alice and I, you, you and I have things today that we're seeking God's mm -hmm. will in. Let's just remember that God tells us to do those three things, and then he will show us which path to take. Right. Would you pray for us, Mary Alice? Yes, let's pray. Oh, Father, we um, are, are so perplexed by this life many times, and we know that you love us, and you know we know that you know uh, what's best and want what's best for us. And, Father, we do want to know what your will is, and we want to seek what it is that you want and get aligned with you and what you're doing in this world and in our lives. And I just pray for each and every one of us uh, participating in Noah's window today that you would guide us and help us, Father, as we seek your will and your heart and I pray that you would just show us clearly um, the steps that we need to take um, for your glory and honor and for our good. And Father, I know there are many people watching or listening today that are facing some really difficult challenges, and I just pray that you guide them through this difficult journey, that you would show them your will and your power and your provision during these times. And Father, we'll just be careful to give you all the glory and the praise as we see you work. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining Mary Alice and me for Noah's Window today. God willing, we'll be back tomorrow. God bless. See you soon.